Hello and welcome to EnjoySharpon.com YouTube channel. I am Vijay, a Microsoft MVP and in this video I am going to explain you how you can set up your development environment for SharePoint framework and also I will show you how you can create your first web part using SharePoint framework. Remember I will show you step by step everything how you can do all the setups, what are the commands are required and serially will execute all the commands and I will show you how we will able to build that. Those who are new to SharePoint framework so this is the new model for which one is uh, for SharePoint online sites, modern sites. If you are new to modern site, I'll put a video in the description section so you can watch that video and you will get a lot of information on the SharePoint online modern experience. And if you'll see here, previously we have SharePoint Farm Solutions, SharePoint Sandbox Solutions, SharePoint Apps or Add-ins. Or also a lot of time we usually inject scripts using script editor web part. If you are new to SharePoint Online Modern Experience, then the one thing that you cannot do is you cannot inject any script into the page. So SharePoint Framework is the future of your know, development model. So there are certain commands we need to execute for, for for creating our web part. So first we'll see how we'll set up our SharePoint framework development environment. Download a file then uh, you'll be able to see that uh, it is the versions are 10 and 11 also this is the latest feature. But SharePoint framework is not supported on this version. SharePoint framework is supported on 8 version. So you can go to the download and you can see here previous releases are there and you will be able to you can see here you will go there and you will you should be able to install SharePoint framework uh, 8 point so you should be able to SharePoint 8.11.4 uh, this is the version you can see here just click on this and you will be able to see here this is opening the version 8.11.4. So go to this 64 bit. This is a 64 bit machine. I'll go here node hyphen version 8.11.4 and the 64 bit. I'll click on that and then it will download. You can see here downloaded here. And now what I'll do is I'll go to the so you can see here it is already uh, downloaded so I'll uh, double click on this I will install it and uh, now you can see here it is showing the setup wizard click on next accept the term click on next it is installing there no need to change anything over here so click on next and install so it will take some time and it will install that so once the installation will be over We'll run our command and we'll see what is the next, uh, what is the current version that has been installed here. So it is installing. You can see here it is installing. You can see here our Node.js has been installed successfully. So we'll click on finish. And now what we have to do is we have to install Visual Studio Code. You need a code editor. Either you can use Visual Studio Code or Atom or WebStorm like this. So I'll search for Visual Studio Code. And I'll go to the first link and we'll see how we can install it. We'll download the Visual Studio Code. This is one of the beautiful editor which you can use. So you can see here it will start now. Yes, so it has been downloaded. So once it will be downloaded, we'll be able to install it. So we'll install Visual Studio Code. So, so you can see here now it is downloaded. So double click on that to start. So run it. You can see here other user install. It is some error will come. Just click on OK to continue and uh, click on Next. Accept the terms. Click on Next. We don't need to change anything. Click on Next. Just choose these options very important and then click on next and click on install so it will say it will also take some time and it will install uh, your visual studio code in in your machine where you can see the visual studio on the web part project when we'll create so that you will be able to see it here 
so you can see here our visual studio has been installed you can click on finish so uh, it is not necessary as of now but if you want to open you can open it else now what we'll do is we'll see now what are the what is exactly the version that has been uh, uh, created here the also the node.js version that has been installed so i'll just close my visual studio code now i'll open power powershell so i'll search for PowerShell. So I'll not open uh, IAC. So I'll just open Windows PowerShell uh, this one and I'll run as administrator. So once I'll open it, I want to know what is the version that has been installed in this machine, the Node version. So I'll say Node hyphen V. So it will show me the node version. So it will just take some time and it will show me what is the node version. You can see here version 8.11.4. And now what we'll do is we'll see what is the NPM that has been installed here. You don't need to install it separate. Once you will install node.js, it will install automatically. So I'll say NPM and hyphen V. So it will give me the version of the npm you can see here it is 5.6.0 which is fine perfectly fine and next what we have to do is we have to install yaman and gulp so these are actually yaman helps us to uh, create new project and uh, your sharepoint client side development tools uh, include a yaman um, a generator for creating new web parts into that so what i'll do here is i'll run a command which is npm install hyphen g yo gulp so i'll click enter so it will take some time and it will do all the installation over here in this uh, machine so you can see here it is taking some time and it will do all the installation over there in that uh, uh, in this uh, system so you can see here our uh, uh, this this command executed successfully now the other steps you can see here it uh, it execute a couple of steps it will take a little bit of time so now what we'll do we have to do is we have to install your man serpent generator this this will help you to create your sharepoint client side solution project so with the proper project structure so i'll run the command uh, it is n pm install hyphen g at the rate microsoft slash generator hyphen share point so this one will well, you can see here i just execute i'm executing it so make sure uh, you have to first uh, do uh, the proper node.js installation because we faced a couple of issues in another uh, laptop when we tried to install but here when we installed this particular version version 8 11.4 uh, it started working uh, correctly so just uh, have a look at that when you are developing or what when you are setting up your uh, um, environment for uh, uh, to work with sharepoint framework or spfx so you can see here it is installed uh, successful now so our setup is uh, done now so what we'll do now is i will build our first sharepoint client side web part using the sharepoint framework so for that what i'll do is first i will uh, try to create a folder structure so for that uh, thing what i'll do is i'll go to the e drive so i'll uh, go here i'll say e drive Sorry, I'll go to uh, the uh, uh, drive and then here I'll create a uh, folder. Okay, so I'll create a, a, a folder structure. So for this, I'll say MD uh, tutorials. So I'll create a tutorials folder in this uh, uh, drive. So I'll say, okay, you can see here it created a structure on that with the name as uh, tutorials. And uh, next, what we'll do is so we'll create this thing so i'll say cd tutorials 
and uh, now once i'll go to this uh, folder so here i will create our first web part using uh, using our uh, yaman sharepoint generator so for that uh, there is a command which we have to execute which will uh, create uh, that one so uh, before that I'll, I'll i'll first create one more uh, um, uh, hello world web part structure over there so i'll say md hello world and i'll say web part and then i'll say i'll go there cd hello world pen web part so once i'll go this folder so here now we'll create our, uh, our web part so for this what i have to do is we'll say you are thread uh, microsoft slash sharepoint so it will create the web part so it will ask us now a couple of things uh, over there so which we have to um, give all these uh, details over there so oh, so it will say um so you can see here it is asking so you will type uh, yes over there so and uh, so if you'll see here now it is saying welcome to sharepoint client side solution generator and uh, it is asking us to uh, uh, provide couple of things on that so what exactly you want to give so you can say hello world hyphen web part so this is going to be your solution name and you can use your uh, uh, arrow keys so i'll say sharepoint online uh, latest version and uh, then it will ask us to create a uh, subfolder this one you can use the current folder and uh, you can see here now it is saying uh, uh, whether you want to allow the tenant admin to, uh, to be able to deploy the solution to all sites immediately without uh, any other things so just choose uh, n here uh, we don't uh, need this now immediately so we can just choose so i'll say no and then enter and now when it will ask uh, again the same thing if you want to give any permission stuff you can say no and uh, then what you want to develop here so we don't want to develop extension we are developing your web part so you can see here the web part is uh, selected here i'll say enter and uh, you can see here what is uh, uh, the web part name uh, that you want to give so we'll say hello world and uh, enter and then this is the description so you can choose the same description so it will be hello world description and here you can choose react knock uh, knockout uh, i'll choose here no javascript framework so you can see here now it will uh, create uh, some of the structure and uh, then what it will do is it will uh, show us uh, this thing the the results of uh, after that we have to run one more command which is little important in in terms of uh, develop, developer environment so we have to set up that uh, uh, for the development environment so you can see here it is uh, still creating our web part and uh, once it is done then we'll be able to now preview our web part uh, first web part uh, hello world web part which we have created so if you want to just to let you uh, just to want to give you some information if you want to work with uh, uh, sharepoint online and you should have a app catalog site ready so these things if it is not ready so you can uh, uh, create that before uh, starting this video so i'll put some li useful links in the description field where you can have a developer's tenant you can sign up uh, using the developer office 365 tenant and that will be a one year subscription not one month so it is a one year full subscription that we can use you can see here it is still going on so once it will complete then we'll be able to we'll be able to preview our web part so whatever uh, we are creating so now you can see here now it is showing that the solution has been created and we can use gulp serve to uh, preview the web part but in a development environment we have to run 
one more command so basically that is to install developer certificate uh, in this uh, development environment so that is because you know this client side tool chain uses https uh, endpoint by default so we have to install the, the developer certificate in this uh, in development environment and this you require only once if you have already installed you can skip this step but uh, if you have not installed then you have to install at uh, uh, install this once so the command is uh, you can see here the command is uh, gulp trust hyphen dev hyphen c rt certificate so uh, just click on enter and it will take some time uh, to to install that certificate and after that we should be able to use gulp serve to uh, to build and uh, to see the preview of the web part in uh, in the browser so if you'll see here uh, you can just say yes for this developer certificate you can see here it is uh, uh, installed now so now what we have to do is we can use gulp serve to preview the uh, to build and preview the our web part so what i'll do is i'll run gulp serve so you can see here i'll click on i'll just press enter and now what it will uh, basically you know it will open the web part in the sharepoint workbench so that is uh, which enables us to quickly preview and uh, test uh, our web part without deploying it over in the sharepoint we are without deploying that in the sharepoint if we'll see here you can, it will open now you can see here the workbench file it is opening so it will show our web part and we should be able to this is the same way it will appear uh, like it appears in the SharePoint online modern site so if you'll see here I will click on add and you can see here this is our hello world web part so you can click on that and you can see here this is our hello world uh, world web part and uh, all these things are coming so you can edit the web and uh, web part and you can change things so suppose here I'll go and edit it and you can see here I'll uh, if I'll write something welcome to hello world sharepoint framework web port so you can see here it is appearing here also so uh, this way you will be able to see the preview of that so if you will modifying the description field then you will be able to see it in the web part itself directly so now uh, we can see the structure of the solution that uh, which has been created so we can uh, i'll just open the uh, command prompt you can see here this command prompt is running now so what you can do is you can uh, press uh, control c uh, in windows basically to which will stop this so i'll say control c you can see here it is uh, a stop so you can say uh, yes so it will stop it and uh, you can use a code dot so i'll say code dot i'll say enter so what will happen is it will open uh, this uh, project it should open this project here so uh, let me yeah so you can see here i didn't give a space so it was creating the problem so now we will i i gave a space code uh, just space and dot so it should open uh, the hello world web part solution in visual studio code and we'll be able to see all the files uh, over there in that uh, visual studio code uh, there was some error uh, the command uh, prompt is not working so what i'll do is i'll show this thing uh, how it will uh, i'll show this solution in the probably in the next video sometime so but what we'll do is we'll open directly the folder using visual studio code so i'll uh, uh, i'll go and search for visual studio code you can see here uh, i'll open it and then what i'll do is i'll open the folder so if you'll open it you'll, you can see here open folder uh, link is there just click on that and you'll be able to see here in e drive tutorials folder and this is our hello world uh, web part so i'll select this folder and you'll be able to see here uh, the the structure the whole structure of the project you can see here and under source web parts hello world and uh, these are the files you can see here the uh, ts file which is very important file so this is how you, you will be able to create your first web part 
using SharePoint framework and how we can know we also saw how we can set up our development environment for SharePoint framework so the the, mo the most important thing that I feel here is the node.js version that we are installing because if you will not install the proper version you might face the problem the error will come and again you have to do those things installation from the beginning so hope you like this video and uh, if you really like it just uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel you will get a lot of uh, video tutorials we are uploading not only on SharePoint we are uh, uploading on Microsoft Flow, Power Apps, uh, SharePoint point online so all this uh, technology videos you will get so hope you like this uh, thank you very much and have a nice day